He's the mobile PC doctor. Hello, this is Paul from Mobile PC Doctor, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use version 3 of Malwarebytes. I'm just double clicking on this program. Now, I do recommend that you run this every week to make sure that you, your laptop or your computer does not have malware installed on your computer. And you won't know unless you run a program like this. Now, this is not an antivirus, it's an anti malware. It's very powerful at picking up a lot of junk that you can easily pick up these days just by using your computer. Malware, adware, spyware, junkware gets onto people's computers very easily, infects browsers and all kinds of things. It can be a nuisance, uh, it can make your computer run slower, or it can be downright uh, malicious and cause lots of problems. So you don't want any of that on your computer. Now before I continue with this tutorial, I just want to show you that now and again we might see this dashed line password manager pop up. Now this was part of a program I've, in I've installed just for the purpose of showing you how to use malware bytes. I've installed advanced system care. Uh, this is not a program I would recommend having on your computer. It's something that I'm going to take off. Uh, but I've put it on there because I know Malwarebytes um, actually will find it as a threat. And as part of the installation, it also wanted to install this dash line uh, password manager. So uh, if this pops up from time to time, I will remove it, but it will be detected in due course by Malwarebytes. Now, before I move on to showing you how to run a scan, I just want to let you know that this is the free edition, so it does not have any real-time protection. If your laptop or PC is sluggish, I don't recommend paying for the premium protection because it will make your computer run a tad bit slower. And uh, my main objective when I go out to people's computers is to make them run as fast as possible whilst balancing that out with being secure. So I would recommend having the free edition. Now, the free edition does not prevent malware. It only detect it once you run your own scan. If you pay for it, you get this real-time protection, and if your computer isn't sluggish, then I do highly recommend that you support this company. They're very good, and uh, all you do is you click Upgrade now. I'll just quickly show you this. Again, I'm getting dashed line popping up now. It's interfering with my web browsing. Uh, and here we go. So what's today's date? It's the 9th of August, 2017. So they're charging £29.99 for one computer. And you can select how many computers you want. If we go up to two, it would go up by £10. Um, so we go back to one. Uh, we say we want a two-year subscription. It won't be uh, £60. It should be less than that. 52.48 so it's a little bit less if you went for a two-year subscription all you do is you would fill in your email your first and last name your postcode and then you would fill in your card details uh, or pay by PayPal it's entirely up to you you can do one or the other um, and then click next and what you will be buying would go here under activate license and you've got this license key that you would type in and also uh, you would have an ID usually. Now I don't know why there's a tick box here. Maybe sometimes they only issue a license key. I don't know. But there is this option that my license key came with a license ID. So I've always known Malwarebytes to have the license key and an ID. But you know, whatever key you get, one or two, this is where they go. All right, once you activate, you then have a license for 12 months or two years, whatever you've purchased, and then you would have this real-time protection on, which will prevent malware getting on your computer in the first place, and that is the best possible outcome you can have. Okay, moving on. If you have the free edition, then I would highly recommend that you want a regular scan once a week. So I'm going to start that scan now. Okay, so it's near the end now, and it's found 17 threats already. At any time, you can view them down here whilst it's scanning, but once it gets to the very end, this option disappears. So this is the threats that it's found out of that system care lap. I went to a customer recently. Uh, was it this week? I can't remember, but it was the uh, last few days. Wow, I couldn't believe it. He had 26,885 threats on his laptop. 26,000, I've only got 18. Um, he had uh, a few different types of threats that just multiplied all over his computer. Okay, so there we go, it's finished. It's found 21 threats, and I'm just gonna have a little look because I'm nosy. There we go, advanced system care, and that's what it's found. Sometimes, I don't know why this is, no doubt Malwarebytes could explain this, but I don't know why it is. Uh, sometimes it will run a scan and it will find threats, but they're not ticked. Uh, usually they are, but instead of ticking them one by one, you can just tick the top threat box and it will tick them all for you. So make sure they're all ticked, and then click Quarantine Selected. 
Now this 21 threat set is found on my laptop it has to count here. So here we go, it's counting up now. Now if you've got lots of threats, they will take longer to count. Okay, so here we are. So um, it's now asking me to restart my computer in order to finish the removal process. So I would click yes, but for the sake of this video, I need to click uh, no because it will end the video otherwise. But yes, you would click yes, the computer then will automatically shut down and restart itself. And then once it's back up and running after the restart, you can carry on business as usual. If it's found lots of threats, what you might wanna do is once you've restarted your computer, run another scan, because you really want this to finish with zero. Once it's finished with zero, then you can draw a line in the sand and you can move forward knowing that your laptop or computer is clean of malware. All right, so that, that concludes this video uh, for now. Um, run a regular scan, and actually what I'll do before I finish, if you want to stick with me for a few minutes more, I'll just quickly run through the rest of this program. So this is the main page that you click scan. Um, this is the scan page. At the moment it's showing the summary because we've completed a scan. Uh, if we go to quarantine, this is what it's, it's quarantined. And I can restore them. If I've made a mistake, I can restore any one of these. You know, if I say oh, that one there I want to keep, I can then restore it and it'll put it back. Or I can delete it. These are the reports. So today's date is here so if I go into that one it'll give me some more information but for the most part people won't want to go into it too deeply they just want to scan and clean up any threats is found and um, if you've paid for your your malware bytes then you can go in under schedule and you can edit the schedule and you can tell it you know how often you want it to scan and so on um, but for those who have the free version they're probably not going to want to go into these settings they probably just want to run a scan and remove any threats found there you go that's how to use malware bytes version 3 i do have a version 2 that i did if you're running the older version um go and check out my other video if you want to check that one out and uh, if you like this video then please like it uh, or comment below um, and if you'd like to see more videos by myself please subscribe to my youtube channel